Hi, my name is Gregory Marles, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Blend If options in Photoshop CS6. Um, they're pretty easy to use, and they're really useful for helping you create uh, mixed textures so you don't have to paint in all of your masking details and stuff like that. So I'm going to be mixing uh, this piece of metal right here with this piece of uh, rust. And uh, I got these off of cgtextures.com, which is a really good, great texture repository. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate both layers. And then on the rust layer right here, actually, I really should name that. Let's name that rust. And let's name this guy metal. And then we don't need these other two ones, so let me just delete them. What you do is you right click on your rust layer and you go to blending options. And now you have all of your kind of like stroke, your inner shadow, your inner glow. But right down here, you have this blend if, and there's a drop down that says gray, red, green, and blue. Now below this are these, this layer, 0, 255, and underlying layer, 0, 255. So pretty much you can blend your top layer with your bottom layer, or your bottom layer with your top layer, if that's the way that you want to do it. Now. Right here you see there are these arrows, and you can kind of like slide them over, and you can see that we're getting kind of like a blending through here. But it's kind of sharp and a little weird. And right now what I'm doing, I'm bringing the blacks closer to the whites. So I'm bringing the blacks, uh, or the darkest darks in this image, closer to the lightest lights of the color. Now I can also bring that back here, and I can bring forward the lightest lights. And now you can see that we kind of have this nice element of the color um, breaking through. So it, it, it looks like the, the, the rust is now on top of the metal. And an, an interesting thing that you can also do with this is if you hold Alt and uh, left click on the one side of the arrow, you can actually split the arrows in two. So you can kind of have a higher level of customization there. You can kind of like play with them a little bit to create other features. Unfortunately though, uh, or not unfortunately, but I'm not going to be using the blacks on this side because we actually want the uh, dark, dark rust layer to stay out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring forth the whites and I'm going to split them. I'm going to split them down and kind of just blow out all of the white color that's in here to make it look like there is more of the, uh, the rust on top. Now you can also switch to different color channels here. Now since this is predominantly a red color, uh, a red image, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to red, and I'm going to pull and break apart the reds, and you can actually control how much of the rust is going to shine through. So right now I've kind of blasted out all of the, if I just copy this and paste, uh, copy this and paste it, you can see what it originally looked like. I've kind of blasted out all of the underlying concrete or uh, underlying material here. kind of looks like concrete, but I guess it's some sort of painted metal. Um, underlying material here, and I'm just left with the rust on top now. And it's a non-destructive workflow. As you can see, this all the stuff is, all the material is still here if you need to go back and use the original one. And I'm not actually painting anything out of this, so you're creating a very non-destructive workflow. And you have your original metal down here. And now you can go in and you can add on anything other than that. But this is a really great workflow for being able to create new textures using a base texture. And it's better, it, it, it allows you more control than just using one of the base, bend, blend, base blending options. I hope this has been useful for you. Uh, again, my name is Gregory Marles. You can find more of me on this channel and at my website, www.gregmarles.com. Uh, www uh, leave a like, comment, um, and let me know what you think. If you have any other tutorial requests, please leave a message below. Thanks. Bye.